Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, today we'll be looking at a cave integrated mathematics question, all right, which is binomial expansion in module one of the syllabus, that is foundations of mathematics. All right. So here we have our question which says we are to expand the exp obtain the expansion for x plus two all to the power of three. Okay. So the method that I'll be using for this question is the binomial theorem. Okay. So here we have our formula to the right that I'll be using. X plus Y raised to the power of N is equal to NC0, X to the power of N plus NC1, X to the N minus one Y plus NC2, X to the N minus two Y squared plus all the other terms plus NC and Y to the power of N, all right? And N here is defined to be the member of a set of natural numbers. All right, so n must be a natural number in order for this formula to work. Okay, natural numbers are one, two, three, four, and, and so on, right? So note that ncn is equal to one, nc0 is equal to one, nc1 is equal to n, all right? And just to remind you, ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by n minus r all factorial. Okay, now you'd have met you'd have met NCR as well when you are doing the binomial distribution in module two, which is statistics. Okay, so this, this is not supposed to be anything new to you. All right. Now I know some teachers might do this same question using the Pascal's triangle. All right, you can do that as well. I'm just sticking to one method, which is very popular and that is using the binomial theorem, okay? So I'm gonna write solution here now, all right? Now, the formula says, I'm just gonna write it below, all right? X plus Y, all right, X plus Y raised to the power of N is equal to NC zero, X to the power of N plus NC one, x to the power of n minus one y plus nc two x to the n minus two y squared. All right. So the other term would be what? Plus nc three x to the n minus three y to the power of three. All right. Plus all the other terms plus the last term and that is nc n y to the power of n. Okay. So that is what we will be using here. Good. Let us now expand. All right. So X plus two all to the power of three. Let us now expand that. Now, just look at the formula. We have NC zero. All right. In this case, we know that our N, all right, I'm going to put it in green for you. We know that our N is three. Okay. N is three. So where I highlight as green, all right, I'm just going to put three there. All right, so n we know is three. Good. So let's do that. So that's three, c zero, x to the power of three, all right, plus n c one, x to the power of three minus one times y. All right, but remember, y is what we use to represent the second term, all right, in the bracket. And I don't have y, I have two in the place of y, all right? So what I will have is two there instead of y, okay? Hope you understand that. Plus nc3, nc2, which is three c2, all right? x to the power of n minus two, so that's three minus two, multiplied by y squared, but remember now that y is two in this case, all right? And we're squaring that, and we're going to continue until we reach this last term here, which is ncn, y to the power of n, okay? 
So once you reach NCN, you automatically know that you are finished with the terms, okay? So the other term after this would be what? NC3, all right? But remember now that N is three, that's three C three, all right? Multiplied by X raised to the power of N minus three. So that's gonna be three minus three, all right? Multiplied by Y to the power of three. So that's two raised to the power of three, all right? So you realize that we have three C three there, which is the NCN term. All right, that's the NCN term that we're looking for. So it means that we can now stop there. All right, that's where we stop with the expansion. Can't go any further. Good. Let us now simplify. All right, we're now going to simplify. So x plus 2 all to the power of 3, that is equal to. Now, if you have a scientific calculator, you're supposed to have the NCR function built in. All right, so 3C0, all right, that's going to be 1. All right, as a matter of fact, you don't even need a calculator for, for that one because we had stated before that NC0 is equal to 1, but in this case, N is 3, so 3C0 three is going to be 1. All right, multiplied by the X cubed, of course, plus NC1. All right. So it looked like I forgot to put the three there. So let me just erase it. All right. And we're supposed to have a three there. All right. Good. So 3C1. All right. Remember now that NC1 is N. We had just stated that. So 3C1 is going to be three. All right. So that's going to be three multiplied by X. Three minus one, that's two. All right, I was still multiplying that by two. Good. Plus three C two. All right, you can use a calculator for that one. All right, so putting three C two and you will get three as the answer. All right, multiplied by X to the power of three minus two. We know that three minus two is one. Multiplied by two squared, which is four. Okay, plus three C three, all right which is one because we had stated previously that NCN is equal to one, plus one. And then we have X to the power of three minus three. Three minus three is zero. So if you remember from the laws of indices, X to the power of zero is going to be equal to one, provided that X is not equal to zero, okay? So in this case, we're gonna have one there, and two to the power of three we know is eight. So what we really have is just eight as the last term, all right? So therefore we can say that X plus two all to the power of three is equal to X cubed plus, I'm just gonna multiply the three by the two here. So three times two, that's six, multiplied by X squared plus, all right? Multiply the three by the four, you're supposed to get 12. So we have 12x there plus eight, all right? And that is the solution for this question, all right? That is the expansion for x plus two all to the power of three, all right? I hope that was helpful. If it was, please ensure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below, all right? And share this video with your friends. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.